Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And our captain, Mason Mugshot, he got good XP points and advancement points in mental and martial. Donnie Dodger, what a heavy beating he took out there. Got some points as well. Dodgy Dan, he did some good shooting and he leveled up to level 3 with an extra offense point. That means two attacks. Nice, Dodgy Dan. And Baldy Bowman, what wonderful shooting he did out there. And he leveled up to level 3. He got an extra offense point which means he can attack twice or shoot twice with a bow. And he was honored most valuable warrior for a double kill. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what incredible show of skills he showed out there. And he ranked up to level 4 and got 2 skill points for training. Nice. And there I am, Mage Master. 8 XP points, 2 martial advancement points, and 2 skills for training because I ranked up. That's... Fantastic. Exactly. And Herman Henchman, he got a few XP points as well and was doing good use with his dueling pistols. We all got 4 XP point as the firing squad. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. Hard mission today. Rivals in the ruined and someone is marked for death. The wordstone is good and the scavenging is average and both warbands deploy tightly around their wagons and prepare to face each other. The plan was to take our frontliners by the entrances and our rangers high in a corner house ruin with an overview of another house filled with wordstone and an alley leading to a wordstone field. We already had two marked out gatherings of wordstone stone. While we were setting up the camp, our captain went for a reconnaissance and spotted their undead leader, Valerio. He was also the marked one. We were all getting ready by the front entrance and I was the eye in the sky, keeping a good eye on the house and the alleyway. I spotted their leader approaching us, making an ambush in the alley. I also spotted a staggering zombie on his way towards us and a vampire hero trying to flank us. As we were loading our guns and I pointed out to Baldy Bowman the position of their leader so basically I gave him the first blood. But before we knew it the vampire hero ambushed us from the back. Dodgy Dan was quick, turned around and laid some damage on her and the captain followed. She was stopped in her approach. And I decided to lay some heavy damage on her from the top and on the fence. It was moving, I'm pretty sure of it. That's when their leader decided to charge in on us. We had almost all of us emptied our guns, but Herman Henchman still had a shot, and he tried to stop his charge. But he charged straight on, and Donnie Dodger stopped him. He dodged his first attack and countered heavy. His second attack hurt Donnie Dodger bad, but he countered back. And his third attack was dodged professionally by Donnie Dodger. Herman Henchman laid some more damage on the ambushing vampire hero. And the captain made a rare miss. Baldy Bowman also had trouble with the fence. 
That's when Shelton Shieldwise sneaked up on her and laid some heavy damage on her. <laughs> she retaliated, which only made him angry, so he put her to her knees. <laughs> she was quickly up, but Shelton Shieldwise was ready for it, parried her first attack, and dodged her second. That's when the zombie showed up through the alleyway, only he was running in the wrong direction. So I decided to throw an arrow in the vampire hero's face, and the second arrow was the first kill of the day, made by me. Donnie Dodger was still engaged with their leader, and he took heavy damage. Once, twice, and even three times. Seems he'd totally forgotten how to dodge. That's when we decided to help. So Herman Henchman laid some lead on their leader, and the captain switched weapons and attacked him once for attention. Twice for a crit. And three times just to make him understand. He is not welcome here. That's when a foul gal suddenly crossed the street and appeared right around the corner in our camp. Dodgy Dan put him to his knees with yet another crit. And Baldy Bowman dropped the leader like a bad habit. And Dodgy Dan laid some more damage on the foul gal. The zombie must have heard in what direction he was going, and he came charging in, standing right in front of the firing squad. That's not smart. Herman Henchman decided to shoot the fence, and the foul gal tried to boost the zombie. While Boldy Bowman was giving him some heavy damage, Donnie Dodger, who was now positioned in the back behind our strong front line, also laid some range damage on the zombie and Dodgy Dan kept stealing the foul gal's life. That's when the zombie charged and I once again fought with the fence. The zombie took a swing at Sheldon Shieldwise, but he dodged and counterattack and he parried and counterattacked some more he was phenomenal out there and i decided to join the crits and put the zombie to his knees the captain gave him the last crit and put him down but the foul gal had found the back way that the vampire hero had used. Donnie Dodger laid some heavy damage on him, and Baldy Bowman gave him the last shot of the day. It was a decisive victory. Good wordstone gathering, nice looting and scavenging, lost no one, and put four out of action. Baldy Bowman was on a most valuable warrior. He just got the first blood. I mean, I got the first kill. Should have been me, right? Right? Anyway, it all cost the 46 gold coins in upkeep expense, and the mission was overall a great success. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the Captain Mason Muckshot, he was a bit off out there, he even made a rare miss. Now he of course wants the good quality spear that we looted from the undead leader Valerio, but he was going thoroughly through all the other good equipment we found out there while he was thinking deeply of his brother's recruitment into our warband. We need a backup captain, and his twin brother is one of the best. But you see, his brother, he doesn't want to be a third wheeler in his brother's little war band. He wants to be the top dog in his own. And he has already found two of his best battle buddies who wants to take on Mortime City of the Damned. Well, Mason, he also took the Shield of Iron in good quality, and he stocked his inventory with some smelly salt, poultice, and, of course, an oil balm. And Herman Henchman, he made some good shots out there. He's pretty impressed with the firepower of his dueling pistols, so he'll hold on to them. 
he got a good quality blue sword. And Dodgy Dan, he made some good shots out there. He even stopped the rear ambush attack from a vampire hero who tried to sneak up on us from behind. He's keeping his firepower close at hand. And the captain gave him a good quality blue sword. Donnie Dodger, he took quite a bad beating out there, so he gets a better blue shield for more defense. It's not because it's bad dodging, it's because there was absolutely no dodging. But his brother in arms, Dodgy Dan, who's actually also his brother of blood, he got the Dodgy nickname because he's the best dodger of the two Dodger brothers. He's agreed to help Donnie train some dodging, so there will be improvements. And Donnie is going to hold on to the maze for a better hit chance, and he's keeping the dueling pistols. And there I am, Mage Master, the Warlock Ranger, with my big, heavy, clumsy Warlock staff that I don't use for casting spells. I use my bow as a ranger now, so I'll swap that out with a one-handed, giving me an extra dodge chance of... Uh, 45%. There wasn't really much stuff for any of us rangers. There was no light armors or, or anything. And Teddy Toothpick and Baldy Bowman are going to be sharing their helmet and the blue dagger and the rifle, of course. But I was given two skill points for the martial advancement. And I am, of course, going to use them on the ballistic skill. And now that we're talking of ballistic skill, I also got two skill points for training. And I'm going to be training my first skill, Overhead. It provides me with a 5% higher chance of hit when I'm on high ground. So I'm going to train that overnight. And I'll be ready for the next mission with those 5%. It's awesome. And it's only costing 90 gold coins. Now who is going to notice 90 gold coins missing? Nice. All right. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what a sweet moment he had. He was given the good quality shield that gave him even better resistances for his awesome actions. What wonderful combat skills we saw out there. He dodged and parried. He countered and damaged. He is progressing nicely. He also got the good quality Sword of Perseverance. And he got the good quality heavy armor we found, increasing his armor absorption from 30% to 40%. And the heavy armor he had was given to Herman Henchman, who increased his armor absorption from 25% to 30%. And the good quality light armor that he had was given to our smuggler, Bunny Boombag, who we haven't seen in action yet. I'm really looking forward to that. But Sheldon Shieldwise's sweet moment wasn't quite over yet. You see, he got two skill points for ranking up to level four. And the captain wanted him to become a shield specialist. But somehow, there were some gold coins missing. Anyway, the captain decided to go downtown to the market and sell a lot of useless and unused stuff, and we all came along. You see, we all went down to the new store that opened at Taylor. We all decided to pitch in and buy Sheldon Shieldwise a little present for his wonderful combat skills. Since the captain had at one point called him our white knight in shining armor, we decided to buy him a white set of clothes. And there he is in his white clothes. I don't know if he looks like a white knight or more like a surgeon, but hey, you know what they say. The best place a surgeon can train is on the battlefield, so I guess that's suitable. Anyway, when the captain came back from his selling spree, he sent Sheldon Shieldwise off to train as a shield specialist to be ready for the next mission.
And so, a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim, and it's time to look at the daily report. Our frontline basher, Howard Howler, has finished mastering the skill Flash Perry, and our injured warrior Perry Perry is still in recovery after a Skaven Rat Pack warband viciously put him out of action. Sheldon Shieldwise has become a shield specialist overnight, and I have also learned a skill overnight over here. And let's not talk about the finance of that, okay? Let me just say real quick about our one-armed battle buddy, Perry Parry here. He's a really good guy, but his fighting days are over. While he's recovering, he's just been hanging around the war camp and lending a hand here and there, literally. Everybody likes this guy, and some of us guys in the war band, we talked with him about spending some of his unused skill points for cooking skills. We need a good cook. And if the food is good, maybe the captain would think twice before firing him from the firing squad, right? And so, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today. And it's a party of seven like we've been used to, but we are gonna expand that into eight with an extra hero soon. Anyway, let's start from the left. Me, Mage Master, of course. And our only captain possible at this point, Mason Mugshot, is with us, of course. And the four henchmen that we know, Shieldwise, Henchmen, and the Dodger Brothers, Dunny and Dan. And our eye in the sky beside me, of course, is today Teddy Toothpick, who's trying out the hunting rifle for the first time. Let's see if he's as successful as Baldy Bowman, who made a double kill with it. So, let's go! The captain had found us a quite normal mission today, scavengers. We needed to crush their will and, if possible, steal the idol off their wagon. The wordstone gathering should be poor and the scavenging would be average. One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other deploys tightly around its wagon. Believing yourself alone in what was a residential district, you spread your warband to ransack the nearby houses. Just as your warriors are starting to explore the buildings, however, an enemy warband arrives, ready to attack your dispersed forces. Okay, and we're in. First things first, let's just check out who we are dealing with here. We are dealing with Cult of the Possessed. Hmm. This is a really sparse map. So we got a scavenge point here, and we got a scavenge point here. Okay. Well, time for deployment and briefing from the captain. I'm gonna be here. And the captain should be here. And Dodgy Dan. You're upstairs. The archer is going for you need to know where you're going with all of this. Let's see. That is where he's going. And Herman Henchman. We have to be careful that they don't block for each other. So Herman is up there. And... So you're, you're gonna be up here as well. Yes. And Sheldon Shieldwise, if you stand at the front door, we all feel safe. Now let's see. So, the plan is this. I'm gonna go and gather some of this wordstone and go back to this house. And Teddy Toothpick, he's gonna take the scavenge point and meet us up at this house. This house is our base camp. The enemy is gonna come from down here and this way around. So this is the camp, and I gotta make it fast, and so does he. Teddy, we need to be in this house soon. Now let's deploy and see how things go. Alrighty then. <laughs> Three question marks at the top of the screen. Oh yes. Oh. This is our captain looking out the back door. Let's just see if we can see anything. Oh, there's a smoking circle there. All right. 
Let's just see here. Okay, let's um, let's ooh, let's be careful here. That doesn't look like much. It looks like fragments or something. Oh, look at that! Look at what we got over there. Let's just see if I if I go in a more straight line, maybe you know, like like this. Maybe I could make it. I gotta keep my eyes open for. Any opponents here? Enemies. Okay, I got I got one more step. I can make it and and I still have one step to try and get towards towards that house in there. I'm really risking it here. But look at that. Look at that. I'll take the three. Biggest. And there is a cluster right there there thank you I'm going for this one that was a downer a debuff we're gonna we're, we're gonna check it afterwards okay Ooh, another one going down oh this one looks like um, I'm just, I, I don't care. Right now, uh, we're gonna do this. There's no point in just taking what we got for now. So, let's just hope this one isn't a downer as well. Let's see. Oh, it was. It was. That one really hurt. Well, this is what let's see if we can place ourselves somewhat strategic okay now let's check out what we got okay we can't climb spell casting is costing us more okay this wasn't so bad we lost 10 health okay overwatch it is Oof. let's see let's see now we're just gonna check out the map around me here I don't like this so captain let's see what we're gonna do with you I'm hanging out here and I need to get in there you need to protect me please look there's a window over here it's a nice one right here looking out at that that would be an awful that will be an awesome spot so you're going in an overwatch stance right here now let's quickly take a look at this map as well Ooh, the first one is coming into sight and dodgy dan maybe we should take this Well, that wasn't any equipment that we could use. So, that's equivalent to a few gold coins, I guess. Now, let's see if we can get you somewhere down here. Ah. Someone could actually charge straight through those two doorways. So right now the smartest thing would probably be to try and see if I could find any way where he could shoot. <laughs> There's not much to shoot through that window, but at least no one can charge him straight up. So this is where you're gonna go into an overwatch. And up there. Up there. It will be over there. That's where there's a scavenge point. Oh, nice. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see if we can if we can tiptoe to it. Would be nice to just save that one little. No, you can't. Okay. So. Hmm. 
this is truly nothing. Anyway, gratitude for whatever we can get. Let's see if we can tiptoe at these this time. Yes, we could. So, we've taken... Oh, that's too bad, Teddy. That's too bad. We need to get you to the house. It will be this. This house right over here. Just to be certain. That's the way. Okay. So let's just remove that again. An overwatch stance with a hunting rifle. Long range. Now, let's get Herman Henchman to a window. And there's a crack in the wall over there. That's probably from where they're gonna come. So this overwatch stance for Herman Henchman. And Donnie Dodger. We need you to train some dodging. You seriously needed a little bit of that last time. So let's see if we can get you down here to the front line. And if you're close to Sheldon Shieldwise, maybe, just maybe, we can secure you like this. And you are going to take an ambush here. That seems fine. So, ambush stands for Donny Dodger. Now the first turn is coming to an end. And Sheldon Shieldwise is going to take an ambush stance right here. And this is where the first round comes to an end. So... A new round has started. Someone is coming for me. Okay. He's right there. Up, uh, uh, okay. That is an awfully big sword he's got right there. That's... That's, um... A bit intimidating. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's just see. We are going to this house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go towards the house. Let's see, can I get myself into a good spot to fire? Let's see. They, they are probably gonna come. Oh, I can't pass you. No, that's, that's too bad. That's too bad. I got one more step though. Let's see, if I place the step here, would I be able to get up the stairs, around, and into a position in front of a window? I could. So, I'm gonna place myself here. Okay. In an overwatch stance. Alright, I got to safety. Awesome. Hmm, and Mason, you, as a captain, should maybe be the one. I don't think they can charge that far through the front door, but they could through the back door. So we need to keep an eye on them so they don't go for our captain here. And we need Teddy Toothpick to be able to, to pass through this door. This is uh, probably an okay spot. But the thing is, I think I'm gonna delay. There is one more of them moving. So that's where he is moving. So it's Herman Henchman. Let's just check out the map here. We have these two that we've already seen, and we have one more over here. Mm -hmm. So we have their leader and their hero here. 
and a henchman coming up behind. That means these two, they are important targets. What we need right now is to find a few good spots for overwatch shots. And if they come through that crack, I think they are probably going to come through this spot down here. Right there. See it? Nice place for an overwatch shot. Alright. And we need to get you up to a good window as well. Maybe you even have the possibility of making a shot because of the long range. Hmm. This is the last steps. We could get through the door. Great. Let's see how far we can get. Hmm. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's just see if you could actually take a beat on someone out there. No, it's too far. If they are gonna pass that wagon, you'll see them. Right, Teddy? And you'll try out your new hunting rifle. So Overwatch stands for you, and it is your turn again. Now I'm gonna fully close this door. Just to be sure that nobody gets in. Right. So, let's put you into an overwatch stance right here. Okay, this is awesome. Dodgy Dan. You should get in position as well. Maybe if Sheldon moved a little bit. So I'm gonna stretch this blue movement spot here a little bit to go a little further down that corner and then I'm gonna delay to wait for Sheldon Shieldwise to to move a little bit aside so if we move him a little bit to the side like this and a little bit forward too and put him into an ambush this looks like a good place for an ambush but I still don't know if I can pass so I'm gonna take another delay Sheldon Shieldwise is gonna delay And then we have you. Everybody can pass you. Fine. So, you're well placed. An ambush stance for Donnie Dodger. Ready to attack anyone sticking their nose through this door. And let's see if we can get... Still, we can't do this. Ah, this is too bad. This is too bad. Okay. Um... Okay, we're gonna have to use another another delay. This is delay, okay. And then we're gonna have to move Sheldon Shieldwise mm, somewhere else. Okay, so we're gonna move him to this end of the door. Right here. We're just gonna set him up here for an ambush. Because we will have two warriors in the first hallway. Because Dodgy Dan is also a warrior. So we can deal with it. And I think that would be a good spot for someone to pop up for a surprise. Let's see. A new round has started. Things are happening out there. Okay. Where are they? Okay. Let's take a look at the map here. Let's see, he's still here. He's still here. This guy seems to be here still. Anybody else? Do we see anyone? Any smoking rings or anything? No. Well, I have an idea. I just got my overhead skill. I'm going to swap places at this window right here. I think that's... That means if I could just delay for a while. and Maksha. You're gonna stay right here so you can switch weapons and defend this door. It's important so you are just gonna stay here with an overwatch like that. Yes. 
And I am gonna step a little more to the side so you can pass me. Gonna delay once more. So we can get to that window. Let's see. Okay. Dodgy Dan. This is a good spot, so we are just waiting here with an overwatch. Hmm. Yes. And now, Herman Henchman, you should be getting downstairs where your dueling pistols are uh, of a little better use. Close up. Um, let's just see where we can place you. You got your eyes on the door? Anyone sticks their nose in there? You shoot it off. All right. Nice. the possibility of getting all the way over here to a nice spot a really nice spot and Teddy Toothpick can take that other that other window I'm pretty sure he could actually reach someone he has the range of hunting rifle overwatch stands there and let's just get you over here nope you still can't. Okay. I'm pretty certain that if you're here, you will be able to. Is it a better window? Then maybe this is a better window. Overwatch stands for Teddy Toothpick. And now we need to wait. I would like to get you out here. Like this into an ambush or the furthest away from the door um, we take in an ambush stance like this yes and you are also just waiting nice we're in position Let's see here. A new round has started. Something's going on out there. Something's going on out there. We can't see it. It's my turn. So he's still just standing there, is he? Let's take an overwatch. Wait. Let's just delay and see if something else happens. I got two shots. So if I could fire one shot and then get into an overwatch stance, that would be the full exploitation of my abilities there. Yeah. You're gonna go into an overwatch as well. We're just gonna wait. So nothing happened. Overwatch for Mage Master. This is truly turning out to be a base camp. We are camping right now. Teddy Toothpick still can't get to any of them. It's a pity that your range isn't just enough to start picking it. Okay, let's try an overwatch for you as well. We're just camping right now. Everybody just... We're in position, and everybody is just gonna keep that position until we know what's going on out there. And this is the end of this turn. Let's see if something happens here. A new round has started. And no. Okay. It actually looks as if no one has moved out there. We need to bait them. We need to do something about that. They're just standing there, guarding two little fragments over here, thinking that we're gonna go for that. We're not after the stone, we're after blood. I'm gonna delay first here. Okay. 
The way we're gonna beat them is by that crack in the wall. That crack in the wall. Okay. Uh, nothing seems to have happened. So maybe... If we just go out here. Take a look. Let's just see. Okay. Nope, I don't see anybody else. Let's see if there is anyone on the map. No, not in that direction. Okay. Sometimes it's enough to just show your face. So I'm gonna see if I can try and show my face. Oh, oh yeah, you can't break the line there then. And you too. You do have an ugly face. So let's face each other. He's got something sticking out of his head. Hmm. Nasty. Okay. Well. We are still gonna be waiting here. With the captain. Ready to shoot them in the doorway. I'm just gonna see if... The overwatch stance is gonna cover those. We're gonna take... Who's gonna take that um, hole in the wall out there and, and make it um, like a place to ambush them? Actually, this is a pretty good spot. So, Herman Henchman is making an overwatch. Dodgy Dan, you got a good view of that. Right now, the dueling pistols is a wonderful choice for that range. So, maybe Sheldon Shieldwise is the one who's gonna go out there. Our white knight, aka the surgeon. See if we if we place him like this, then he's gonna take a shot at someone running straight for that crack in the wall over there. And Sheldon is gonna be the one showing off right here. Sheldon Shieldwise. You are the brave one. So you are gonna do it. No, we, we need to go straight close up on this wall and get a straight line. Now let's just see if we can... If we can lure you a little bit ahead. You will be in an ambush stance. This could be a consequential turn. A new round has started. Ooh, someone's coming. <laughs> nice, Teddy Toothpig. You got first blood and he's running away. <laughs> you did it. Okay, okay. Mage Master has made his first blood of the day. Now what's going on? What's going on? Ooh, who shot him? As a breath. I can't see it. Yeah. Ooh, he went into our ambush. Ooh, that one hurt. That, that one hurt. But you got to count. Yes, that's right, Sheldon. Okay, he had one attack. That is a huge sword. Now let's just take a look at him. He's got 56 health left. Let's just see. He's got... Hmm, I don't see anything. He's got a short bow of slaying in his alternate hand. He actually could be ranged. Anyway, we need to help Sheldon Shieldwise down there. So first things first. We reload. Let's just see if we can watch him out the window. We're gonna try an aim shot at 85. And I have a high ground of 10% and an overhead of 5%. Let's see how this one goes. Yes, look at that. Nice, nice. But we need to still keep an overwatch. So I'm gonna be like this and take an overwatch stance right here. 
We need to protect Sheldon from any others incoming. Okay. And the captain. Let's see if you could make The captain is gonna take an aimed shot with a 72% hit chance. Let's see. We look at that. If we reload, we reload here. We would still have one movement and it could be a little, little bit further in. This is still a place where you could be charged. So if I place him a little to the side like this and give him an overwatch for his last shot. That's a good position. Teddy Toothpig. Let's see, you had a shot and he ran off. He's all the way over there, comes back. You may be able to get him here. So Teddy Toothpig, you're in an overwatch as well. Let's just take a look at the situation here. The hero is running away and Rakim, their leader, has seven health points. Seven. Now who is gonna help to relieve him of those? Should that be you? Let's try an aimed shot. Dodgy Dan makes the first kill. This is awesome. And now we're getting ready to loot. Sheldon Shieldwise is the last one to take his turn. So, Herman Henchman is in an overwatch stance by the door. Donnie Dodger is in an ambush stance by the door. And you, Sheldon Shieldwise. You lost a little bit of health, but you did fine. And now, we loot. Not much, really. Not much, really. Okay. So, I guess it's time to get back in the house. Let's just see if you can make it all the way. You can do that. You don't need to tiptoe or anything around the loot bag. And you can go into an ambush thing. Right here by the door. Nice. This was a good round. Let's just keep a good eye on him. A new round has started. Something's going on out there. Is he coming? He is coming. And he is marked. Yeah, you take an ambush out there. You line up in front of us nicely. I like that. Okay. Now then, let's see. You're, you're in a good position right there. So let's reload. Why not take an aimed? Since you are so nice that you're standing right there in front of me. Whee, that one was a nice shot. Okay, let's reload. And maybe keep a little shot for you when you decide to move a little closer. Yeah. Let's just see. Okay, let's just see what kind you are, Vossin. Uh, let's just see. You have 106 health. Or oh, wounds, as they call it in Mordheim. Okay, let's just see if we can get out through this door. You know, see if we could possibly get a shot. Let's see. Tiptoeing a bit. Oh, yes, we can tiptoe a bit without uh, Without having him half or quarter covered or anything now the question is do we make it an aim shot? No, we need to get back. So this Ooh, Nice shot captain. He seems a lot more focused today even though he's pretty frustrated that his twin brother doesn't want to be a third wheeler, as he says. 
so he's trying to work out ways that he can persuade his twin brother to come but for now his twin brother is not coming as a backup captain for us but i'm pretty confident that the strategic mastermind mason mockshot will come up with a good idea i'm pretty confident let's put him into an overwatch stance a little to the side of the door let's see what happens where is the crack oh there is the crack oh yeah he's probably gonna go for that loot bag that is his leader's loot bag when he does we're gonna give him a little bonus of lead all right and if he should come for this door that is a pretty good position you're in here herman henchman so you just stay right there teddy toothpick uh, you just can't make a shot at him from this position. So maybe we should just, you know, make you look in the other position here. If anybody else is gonna come to his aid, they are probably gonna come from the wagon down there. So let's place him here. Sheldon Shieldwise. You've already been in a melee fight, and you are getting ready for the next. You look really nice in your white suit. And Donnie Dodger, you should just stay here as well. The two of you are gonna take him from each flank if he comes through that door. Something's going on out there. A new round has started. Uh, he's coming. Oh, oh, uh, oh! There, there was there was wind there. I think there was a pretty tough wind right there, just blowing down the street. Hmm, I'm pretty sure of it. Where is he? Oh, he's standing right there, lining nicely. Okay. See, I. Got a little something for you. Um, let's let's just let's trust. No, no. Let's take an aim shot. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. And we can reload. And I am thinking that you're probably gonna get a little bit closer. When you do, I got a little surprise for you. Nice. Ooh, the suspense. And Mason Muckshot. Let's take a look at the map. 58. That is not much, so there's no imminent danger. So, you can make an aim shot and even get back. You can make an aim shot and even make it back into the house. Yup, that was a good one. 34. Wow. Anyway, I am gonna stretch this... This little marker right here. And then I'm gonna reload. Trying to get as far back as possible. This guy has uh, only got a light armor. Which means that uh, his movement range is pretty large. So he could charge pretty far through this, uh, this door, but not this far, I don't think so. He is gonna feel the lead of Mason Mukshap. If he shows up in that doorway. Okay. So, Teddy Toothpick. There isn't really much out there, is there? So right now, we're just... Keeping an eye on all angles. I think this is a good spot. You're gonna take an overwatch stance right there. Let's see. Herman Henchman. I don't think you could get all the way out there. I think we're gonna wait until he gets a little closer. And that way we can have more warriors who have the possibility of looting him. So we're, we're just gonna be patient. Patient is a victorious virtue when it comes to us.
You could take him out, you could take him down, but you can't get past Sheldon Shieldwise and get out there and loot him, and Sheldon Shieldwise only has two slots. You know, actually, you're gonna pop him on the first shot, I think. I'm gonna put you here. When you get to this window, you're a little bit closer to the door and a little bit easier to loot. So, an Overwatch stands for Dodgy Dan. You could just stay put, ambush. Let's see if he makes it all the way over here. I don't think he does. And Sheldon Shieldwise is just gonna wait here. And now, it's the enemy's turn. A new round has started. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, that was a good hit. That, that frame. That, that, that narrowed in. Ooh, yes! Awesome placement. Herman Henchman has made the second kill. Wow. And here I am. Let's just see how much I can loot. I c oh yeah, that's right. I'm loaded, so I can't loot. I need to reload. We need to get that bag looted right away. Anyway, well, there is nothing more we can do in this round than and an Overwatch stance. I should maybe have delayed. There are two enemies incoming. I don't see anybody here. Okay, Mason, let's see what have you got. You got two slots and a lot of movement points. So let's just see if you could make it. And now, you got a few arrows in you. I know who they came from. <laughs> okay. Oh, a nice shield with good resistances and a sword of enfeeblement. We already have a sword like that. It is okay. So, there is nothing more to loot there. Let's just close the back entrance once more. Turn around and get ready for an overwatch stance if anyone should turn up in the door. Awesome. Dodgy Dan. You should just step forward once more and keep an eye on that crack out there. Let's just reload you here and put you in an overwatch stance right there. This is in the true spirit of the firing squad. This is how we deal with them. Their moral is already on 48. We need to take out maybe two more. An overwatch stance there for you. Teddy Toothpick, you're just gonna stay where you are as well. And Sheldon Shieldwise, maybe we should take a little stroll with you again. Maybe we should just, you know, like, show off a bit. Just like a show of strength. Let's get you out here. Let's see, this is a show off. I don't see anyone else in the vicinity even close to him. This guy over here might actually feel tempted to come towards us. We're just like putting him out for bait. Oh man, we're bad and he's brave. Is he too far out? Nah, let's just like, you know, end the turn. So let's see what happens. Ambush? We're just waiting. Maybe we should move, all of us. Hmm. A new round has started. Okay. Hmm. And Mage Master. Me. Let's just see. I'm just gonna check out. This guy didn't move. Hmm. There's no need to take these fragments, but... Would it be... There's a lot over here. There's a really, really lot over here. Anyway. Overwatch stance in this position is the best thing I can do right now. Now the captain has promised us that his twin brother was going to come to our warband. But what he didn't know was that his twin brother actually wanted his own warband. So he's a bit frustrated. But I'm pretty sure that the captain will come up with a strategical mastermind plan to get his brother to join us and not start his own. We can look down the street at least. 
Let's put him in an overwatch stance at this position here. I don't know if they can charge through that hole. Uh, let's see. See, there's a balcony up there, and I like that big house. You are just gonna stay here, actually. This is an awesome place. You should stay here as well. We, we need to see if we can bait those guys with the captain and our white knight. So an overwatch stands for Teddy Toothpick as well. And you're keeping a good eye on that opening right there. And Mason Mockshot is right out there. This is a good spot as well. Let's see. And you will just keep your ambush. We need to secure this house. So, Sheldon shield wise. Now there are two ways to go. Either we could go this way, ignore these fragments, and hope that there are good clusters here. The way I see it, I think there's, there's like five wordstone gathering possibilities right there, and we have a few scavenge point inside this house. So this going this way could actually be a smart move. However, our optional objective is to crush their will, which means we should go all the way down here to their wagon and take they are idle here. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not sure it's possible. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see if I can make some kind of secure passageway for the rest of the warband. So let's do this. Ambush that and this. Okay. I'm keeping a good eye here. A new round has started. Okay, is something happening out there? Well, let's just see... He's here. Okay, so we need to get all of us on this way over here. Up through this ramp and into this house. If we take the house, I think we have a real good possibility of maybe getting some wordstone here and scavenge points here and defending from the stairs. That's a plan, but it's a four or five turn plan. So we need to be careful and we need to be wise. But before I join them out there, I think I'm gonna see if I can make it to the wagon. I got three steps left. Only two actually. Nice. Nice. So now I got three more slots. Let's hope we could get something good out of that. I have just tiptoed to the idol and I'm gonna pray. It's gonna give me a, a buff of 35% wordstone resistance and 35 to all alone test. But I am not gonna be all alone because I'm gonna be with my warband. This is probably gonna be a good spot to shoot through that hole and the other guys can still get through this door. Then Overwatch stands right there. Okay, we're doing this. Now let's see. The captain, let's just see if he's gonna be in a kind of back line. If we put you here, we could have someone in front to create a front line that could be like a circle around us. Let's just make a delay here and see if the last enemy is gonna pop up somewhere. No. No. Okay, so it's time for the rest of us to leave the first war camp. Let's see if anything changes. You are gonna stand here and you're gonna be covering me and on your way. An overwatch stands for you. Now let's get you outside as well. We need to get 
as far as we can get towards the captain all right maybe you shouldn't be right in the opening so maybe maybe a good spot would be like well we could put you here and then someone needs to be in front of you not straight in front of you but like this yeah you would be able to shoot pretty far down a straight line right there I think this is a good place okay see the problem is you're so far ahead we're pretty spread out right now actually I think this is the best place to keep him so an overwatch stands for you good balconies up there so the captain is keeping an eye on us okay the captain just told me that my contract wasn't actually finalized you see I need to survive five missions and to put five enemies out of action so I'm well on my way this is my third mission and I put three out of action already this is a standard contract and I'm pretty confident it will work there okay and overwatch stands for Herman henchman okay Sheldon Shieldwise you were the one I was thinking about should start you know creating a safe zone somewhere around here mm. so the white knight he is looking shiny today if you made like an ambush stance here yeah if anybody turns around this corner you would engage Donny Dodger let's get you out there as well let's see how far that gets us well with that no not much but it's good enough for an ambush on that little opening over there and this opening right here this is good Donnie Dodger so we're in position good Donnie Dodger Teddy Toothpick is keeping an eye. A new round has started. Something's going on out there. Someone's here. Okay. Okay. Let's just check out the map here. Let's see. Yeah, he's on his way. He's on his way straight for us. So we need to do something about that. Ooh, I almost stepped on that. I'm trying to find a spot to see where he is. Let's just see where is he. He's not even close to being able to ambush me. Hmm, I'm gonna go through here. Let's just see. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Okay. And let's see where we can place ourselves maybe we should so I'm gonna gather this fragment hope to get something good oh I, I got I got wordstone resistance that's right so an overwatch stands right here let's just hope I'm not gonna be ambushed from the back there are two now there are two of them coming there is one here and there is one here okay they're really going for us now however I still think it's a good plan I still do so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna place him 
I'm going to place him here. That means that the captain needs to delay in order to get in position. When the others have moved. Okay. Wow. Things are getting a little bit exciting right now. I mean, we got two strong dudes coming over there. And we need to find a good defensive position. Let's just see. I'm pretty much standing on it. Let's just see. Right now, henchman. Right now, Herman Henchman is protecting me. Let's just check out here. Okay. And he should be able to get a little bit further. So maybe he could be all the way over here. Shooting them through that hole right there. And once they come around the corner. Yeah, this, this could be a, a good plan. This could be a good plan. So there's an overwatch for you right there. I'm thinking I saw that the ring was closed up. He's pretty well placed. So the captain stays there as well. In an overwatch stance. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, you need to get some distance. Let's just see if we can get you all the way over here. You would still be able to provide some protection there. This is good. If they run around the other way, we could be in trouble. Because we are really dispersed right now. Overwatch stands for Teddy Toothpick. And let's see how things are gonna go. Donnie Dodger, you need to be over here. And actually... You should be in an ambush. If they are trying to run around Sheldon shield-wise and go to the back and attack some of the weaker, then this is a good spot. Okay, so this is how we're doing it. And Sheldon shield-wise, you need to be in position. And we are gonna do it in a new way now because if we do this, we could set you in a parry stance. We already have an ambush capability and we are out of the base. And we are onto the field in the middle of it. This is not a position that I entirely like. <laughs> ah, this is a good place for a parry stance. Okay. Let's just see. A new round has started. Oh, they're coming. Yes. Ooh, that's too bad. Dodgy Dan missed. Oh. And Herman Henchman laid some damage on him. Nice. Let's see. Ooh, I shot him in the leg. Okay, and we stopped his approach. It was an ambush stance, though. Okay. Hmm. Well... I'm just going to reload right here. Yes. Stretch the point a bit. And I can interact. Um, let's just see. Oh, I can, I can gather word stone here. Stretch the point. I can still shoot him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just one of these. Let's just see if I get a buff. Ooh, it was a buff. It was a buff. Let's just see. Plus 5 to range and melee resistance. That's always good. That's always good. So let's just see if we can move a little further and still gather some of this. Wordstone right here. That is just fragments. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to leave it. It may be a stretching point. Of some sort. Let's just see if I can make another little stretch to it. Okay, this is a good shot percentage. So, let's give you a shot. Another shot in the leg. All right. Now, I'm not going to reload for now. Because I'm going to see if I can make it up. Oh, that's too bad. 
That's too bad. Let's try once more and I'll... Oh, wait. If I do that, I'll be stuck up there. And then Teddy Toothpick can't do it. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay right here. See if I can, uh... If I can get in another shot, if possible. Oh, that's right. I can't reload now. I can't do anything. We're just gonna end the turn right here and take our chances. I am very vulnerable right now. Very vulnerable. So, Captain. You need to step a little bit to the side. Because right now you can't seem to get a good shot in. This is like, oh, this is a good place. Maybe this would be a good spot right here. Let's see. Ooh, Mason. That captain missed. Can you believe that? We're just gonna go in a straight line here, and then we're gonna we're gonna reload. And in order to be sure that I'm closing off that corner with the circle, I'm just gonna put him in delay. Let's just see. Waiting. Hmm. And Teddy Toothpick. Maybe the smartest thing right now would be to stick with the team here. So we're gonna put you in an overwatch stance here, Teddy. This is a good spot for you. And you. Let's just see, we need to reload. So we're going in a straight line to this corner. Right here. And let's see. You can reload here. Yes, you can. Let's just hope you're not shooting at that corner. So, let's give you an overwatch stance over here. Stopping their approach. You are going to be put in an overwatch stance. You are probably going to be the one who's going to be attacked if they make it. Let's just see. If I switch weapons, I only have one step. I'm not gonna do that. So we're reloading. We got three steps, that's all. Oof. This is definitely not much of a step. So, um, oof. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Not at all. Hmm. If I move, he's probably gonna ambush Donnie Dodger. But I'm gonna have to. Question is where I'm gonna... Where am I gonna put you? See, I can't get you all the way. That is too bad. I think we should put you here in an ambush. Well, they could still charge us. This is not the best. This is definitely not the best. Maybe it's it's best to put you in a parry stance right in front. We're gonna have to do that. Maybe you'll be the one who would be charged. Let's just see. Hmm. Let's see if this is gonna work. It did, somehow. We need one more... To be a front line here, I think. I think the circle would protect pretty well here. They could still run around. I'm not gonna put you in an ambush, no. I'm gonna put you in a parry stance. This is the best way you can defend yourself. Let's do this. Wow. This is an exciting round. It can be consequential. A new round has started. Let's see what's going on now. Ooh, that's too bad, Teddy Toothpick. Let's see. Ooh. Nice! He's trying to run around, I think. Ooh, that's too bad. Herman Henchman missed. Ooh, but the captain never misses. He seems focused today. We, he's running all the way around. See, he's going for the weakest. Oh man, that's unfair. Oh man, that's bad. That's like really bad. Let's just take a look at this. 
He's got 54. Oh man, Teddy Toothpick took a nasty hit there. Okay, this guy, he's done. He's done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up. Yes. Ooh, look at that. Just look at that. There's a cluster down there. Let's just see. I'm just gonna take a look around the corner here. I see them. I see them. Okay, let's just see. I see this guy. He's nasty. He's packing a heavy weapon. And he is, is over here. And he could easily get to this point. Easily. So I really need to think about what I'm gonna do here. Because if I take this, I only have one step left. That's not really much. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can probably lure them into the house through the main entrance. And I can reload here. See, there are scavenge points right down there. I see the chest. But this is probably the best place I could be. And I can jump down out there if things get really rough. So, this is the reload here. Oof, I'm really feeling very vulnerable. I, I don't know. The next one that has his turn is, is this guy. And that means that he could actually make it through the door. And maybe even up the stairs. I'm not too happy about that. But there is not much I can do. An Overwatch stands might be able to stop his approach. So, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh, that was him? Okay. So he took an ambush over there. Hmm. So, Captain. You have some hard decisions to make strategically right now. This guy might actually be able to be taken out of action in this round. But we need to disengage Teddy. So, we are gonna delay him to find out if combat is needed. Dodgy Dan, you have him right behind you. So, there is no doubt you are gonna switch weapons like this. You're gonna engage and you are gonna swing. <laughs> wow! You made a crit! He stood his ground. Let's just take a look here. He's down to 18. Well done, Dodgy Dan. Well done. I'm gonna delay you, which means that you would be able to loot this guy if he dies in this round. And you need to disengage. No need for you to fight. So, Teddy Toothpick, why don't you come inside? Oh man, that's too bad. Oh man. Well, ah, oh, that's even worse. With all that agility? Oh man. So let's try it one more time. All right. You will end the turn up there. And the captain. You could actually delay once more. We could go just a little bit closer to that climb spot uh, let's see you're not gonna reload or anything I think I think what we're gonna do here is another delay yeah Herman henchman you are gonna help out down here yeah you're gonna go over here as far as you can so that guy needs to run all the way around you he may be able to get in through that corner. Anyway, this is a good reload spot and a good overwatch spot. Right there. Let's do this. So, we can't delay you anymore. I should have thought of that. Anyway, a parry stance. 38 that's what we're going for 
Let's see you. You have a full inventory. Okay, let's just see how was it? It was it was 18 and he has 171. Okay. But there is no going around this. You will be attacked. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's right. Donnie Dodger. Awesome. Let's just tiptoe to the loot here and let's see. A dagger and a sword. Okay. A few gold coins there. Not much. <laughs> anyway, let's just see. How are we gonna protect? Okay. So now. Okay, we have two attempts, please. Okay. Yes! Awesome! This is awesome! We're not going down there. The problem is we're gonna be blocking this passageway. Maybe it would be smarter to, you know, guard this place. Yeah. And we're gonna guard it with an ambush. That's right. And Teddy Toothpick is gonna cover Donnie Dodger. That's a good strategy. Now, that guy is already looted. We need to take care of this guy over here. Let's see. If we place ourselves a little to this corner, towards this corner, and we reload. Yep. And we move a little more towards the corner. Like this. I think we got it. Closed off. But Sheldon is gonna take him in an ambush stance. So. Overwatch it is. And Sheldon. And he's probably gonna charge you, Sheldon. What if you protect the captain? Oh, you're standing right in the way of the captain, but I think actually either he's coming for those Sheldon or he's coming behind. So we're gonna go for a parry stance here and cover the captain. Okay, this is suspense. A new round has started. Okay, let's just take a look at the map. Okay, this guy we can see already. This, what was that? What? Oh, he's in there. He's under, ah, he's under the house. So he's no longer there, he's up here. Okay. So he's probably coming around this way as well. So this entrance is a bit more safe. Actually, I have two shots. What a nice percentage. Let's see what we can do about that. Wee! Nice shot! Okay. I'm actually thinking, let's just see here. Um, we have two scavenge points in here. Right now, I am too alone for that. We are gonna... We already have two on the ramp. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect them from up here. If I stretch a bit, like this, and I reload. Yes. And then I stretch a bit more here. Let me just see. I would be able to cover the stairs, both the stairs there and this place down here with an overwatch stance right. Uh, that, that was pretty foggy down there, right? You, you saw it. It, it was practically gone. Whee! He's running around with my arrow there. Yes! Oh, yo, 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 he's go. Well dodged, Herman Henchman. Well dodged. Okay, you really like running around, don't you? 
So maybe you are going f not for the weak ones, but for the gunpowder. Hmm. You are gonna meet some steel instead of lead, then. Let's just see this. The captain switches his weapons. And let's see, um, I can't, I can't do it without using an extra. I would like to get out climbing this turn. So what the captain does is delay. Yeah. Let's just see. Let's just see. Now there are three warriors down here. And there's just one here. So maybe disengaging is the smart thing to do. And then you go up. If possible. Ooh, that's good climbing right there. That's awesome climbing. Oh, oh, you need to stay here in order to to reload. I can't make an overwatch stance anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you as far up as possible. And we're gonna end the turn all the way up there. And you need to reload and maybe reposition your shelf. So if we if we could like go here and reload. Ooh, that's a nice percentage. Let's just get a little bit further up this ramp. <laughs> nice shooting, Teddy Toothpick. That one really hurt. That one really hurt. Let's see, can we get him? Wow, we can get him all the way up here. This is a nice spot as well. Let's see if we can get you all inside. And if anyone comes up that ramp, you can cover that once once you have reloaded. Let's end the turn right there. Nice. Now, the captain, he wants to talk to you. <coughs> yes, that's right. Oh, yes. And you're gonna taste it one more time. <coughs> oh, that is awesome. You know what? Let's see if that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. Now, first of all, I am going to see what you got in here. Let's just see what we can swap. Because right now, the Amoro has gone way down. These things are not worth anything. Oh, man. Well, if they make the route test... We still have a chance to get those those clusters over there. Oh, he didn't make it. Okay. Let's just see if you can do it again, please. Okay, Captain, you did it. But nobody can pass this uh, this way. So um, so this is where the turn ends, right here. Okay. Now let's see. Can you loot? You have two free slots. So let's just determine whether... Oh, you can loot from there. Nice. The dagger is not worth anything, so I guess it's the hammer and the sword. There's not much looting this time that gives anything, really. Sheldon Shieldwise. You too should see if you could climb. You don't have that much agility, and you jump straight up. Awesome! And let's go up. Seems like... Our surgeon has a lot of skills. No, we need to be careful not to block that way. We might be stuck. So this is just an end turn right here. And it is your turn. Let's see. You actually have two slots. You know what? Let's just see. Can we get any of this? We can do this. We can do this. We are doing this. Let's just hope that we are not getting... We didn't get any debuff. So that was a 
cluster right down his inventory. Oops, here was one. What was it? Minus agility, strength, and toughness. We can live with these things. Now we need to get back up. And we're still taking a, an ambush here. Right. Now, dodgy Dan. Let's see. You have space enough for a one gold coin dagger. So... So let's just take that one with us and see if you can climb over here. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Let's see. Nobody's coming around just now, so we might as well try again. And again. Okay. That's too bad. <laughs> That's too bad. Okay, Dodgy Dan. I think there are things we need to train. So, an ambush is as good as any. Let's see. Yeah! Awesome! Right on! And now, we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of... Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into... Vortheim, the City of the Damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.